this is a very exclusive brand it's not for everyone it's only for those who search something different and in flamenco environment you know we have so many cliches and things we take for granted <laughs> that people is stuck in the past of ebony fretboard kind of classic guitar you know the cypress idea all that thing they are stuck with that and do not even imagine that one could get something much better if you just abandon that attachment to the past. Uh, it seems a more of a psychological thing. It is actually because uh, to be different, it is punished in this society. Sometimes, sometimes that difference is praised. And some other times that difference is punished, it's not rewarded. So people is afraid to, you know, I have friends, let's say, I have friends of every kind of guitar players, also traditional ones, everyone, because I'm friends with everyone. And these guys, so some of them, you know, I know, I would not say names, but I know they play hidden, they, they got an AG and then at home they, almost close the door and like that and then play because they know it's better but they don't want to do it publicly why because they are afraid that some other fellows there will troll them well what is that what is this two sound holes or anything although this is an idea of Francisco Simplicio from the 1920s and, and it's much superior to the center sound hole idea anyway uh, the thing is that people is afraid of uh, not being rewarded or given approval by others externally, you know. This is something, you know, like this Instagram thing, it's a narcissism story also. Because actually, if we want to please, we play a kind of guitar because we want to please others. Either some of them are paid by companies, by big names, to, to play certain brands. This brand has only 20 years in existence. Thanks to God, it exists because otherwise I don't know what I would do. I have played every type of guitar. Believe me, if, if there were a better guitar than this, I, I would be playing for sure. But there is not such guitar in Spain. And therefore, because I like differentiation, I like what is different. So if you like what is different, this is for you. If you like what everybody approves, then this is not for you definitively. I will uh, advise you against getting one. Why? Because you will not get praised by others or sometimes people, you know, there is good heart people who, when they see a guitar, a strange instrument like this, they say, oh wow, what is that? And they, they are on, on good will, you know, not a bad intention, I mean, but <laughs> this is difficult to get <laughs> people like that. Now, if you don't care what others say, just like Salvador Dali, was about but not so much let's say in a very healthy way that your sense of well-being or of uh, achievement does not depend on what the others will approve you to do uh, then that is very good for music of course Paco de Lucia was one of them it was actually his idea all these changes he started with this revolution by the, including by, by introducing the Negra concept, which he took from the classical guitars of Hermann Hauser, German freaking builder. Hello, this is such an, a, a, a shocking statement, what I'm saying. This is true. I'm telling you. Paco had access to, to some 1950 or 1960 classical guitars, German, made by Hermann Hauser. I think the third or second. And Paco loved the, the aspect of, of having this negra, this rosewood box and, and have more weight and, and it in fact sound much better. So he said, well, why we don't do that? Why do we have to be playing with Cypress all the time? So, excuse me. No, I don't want that. So he, <laughs> he ordered one of these rosewoods, he said, make it like this, like that, and then kind of try to imitate some of the measurements and stuff which were considered okay for flamenco at that time, plus his own personal modifications, like the 61 millimeters on the bridge, etc. All these things, 
uh, and then, then the negra was created because someone challenged what was the traditional thing, which was Paco de Lucia in this case, and then everybody accepted it. Now, uh, he didn't care what the others would say about that's why he did it. So, I have been playing almost well, more, more than 40 years, or 40 years since I was a child and was playing. And I have played every guitar you can name and imagine. Every brand and kind of instrument from everywhere I have had, owned it and played it. And nothing traditional satisfied me. This uh, maple fretboard is so much easier to play than the ebony fretboard. In fact, modifications in time, if you see the history of how, for example, Amati, who, who was the guru of Stradivarius, he included some things, then Stradivarius changed some things, the, the length of the bow, including that. So many changes happened in instruments with time in history. But really speaking, uh, to get that you need knowledge. And, and Paco de Lucia said, if you want to see an ignorant guy about instruments, or an uncultured person about the instruments, is there, just go to a flamenco, to a professional flamenco guitar player. There you are, there you have. <laughs> uh, it's true. So sometimes we players, we don't have enough knowledge about the instrument itself, and we think that playing is the important thing, and the instrument is just more, more, more or less irrelevant. It is not. The quality of the guitar you practice with every day matters a lot. Because what does it mean learning to play guitar? To learn to play guitar means to develop a good tone, a, a nice, beautiful tone. And the tone depends 50% or more on the instrument you play. If you play a garbage instrument or an instrument that sounds like classic, which is every guitar there, so-called flamenco guitar, there's not even definition for this thing. It's, it has the same characteristics that the classical guitar. The classical guitar has a rosewood bridge, an ebony fretboard, and the flamenco so-called negra has also that. So then, then there still was the need to implement more changes into this instrument to create the real, what is real guitar for flamenco guitar. We, for flamenco guitar, we mean modern flamenco guitar, which means Paco de Lucia's style. Not the Savikas thing. Of course, if you play all the style flamenco, then this is also not for you. Although I have friends who have a Meiji guitar, and are also traditionals. They maybe have six or seven guitars of, of other brands, and they have one Meiji because they like to have also some different thing. Uh, it's not to try and stop, because these guitars try you. You don't try them, you try them a guitar which you don't know what it is. When you know what you are buying, you don't need to try anything. If I want to get the Rolex, I don't need to try it. I know what a Rolex is. If you know what you are buying, you know what it is. And quality on, 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 on these models are it's more or less the same in all models. There is nothing to try about, because it's all standardized, not machine made, it's totally handmade, but still, the quality is always high. So this is one thing, it's not that you try and you try, you have to first decide what you want. This is the conclusion, because actually the question why not, not many players around play AG guitars, which they, they sometimes do and sometimes hidden, but even if they don't do it, well, this is because they have very narrow-minded concept of what an instrument is, they don't have an idea actually what is even tuning because they got used to these guitars, have the, the rectified, revisited fretboard division. The division of the frets is perfect, just like the Herman House and only guitar, and no other guitar in Spain tunes. And this is a fact that I can prove it any moment. You bring it and I prove it for sure, that it does not tune because it has them revisited Santos Hernandez 1928 or something uh, scale which was passed from one luthier to another and, and is not accurate. This is simply the fact. If you get a hundred dollar electric guitar Fender, it does tune. And if you get a ten thousand uh, dollar Flamenco guitar in Spain, it does not tune. But AG is perfect in that as also. It's flawless in that. So because of tuning and you get used to what, to what you do every day, Right? You become good at what you do every day. 
If what you do every day is play a guitar that does not tune, and you think that tunes, then, then there is no remedy. You cannot solve the problem because <laughs> the guy thinks, that, yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> I mean, it is not tuning properly. But, but because, because of habit, that's why we get stuck with bad things. And fear of change. But although this, this, there is most fear about change will happen. Because <laughs> I tell you, I know this is the future. Maybe it will happen 50 years after, who knows when. But at some point, and nowadays it starts already, people who are intelligent and who analyze for themselves, who do not care what others say, and who like differentiation and are after searching for this differentiation aspect. They already, today, they already recognize that this is superior. It's so much superior than the traditional concept. And therefore, some of, some of them, they have just uh, quit the other task. They don't want to play anymore. That only they, I have many friends who only play AG. Not because I brainwash them, because they are very capable people, very intelligent guys. They analyze for, them, for themselves. They, they have actually had other guitars. Do you think people who prefer this didn't have other brands before? Of course. But not that because everybody plays it or it's a popular. This is not a popular brand, like a commercial guitar. It's a very exclusive brand. In fact, this is a, a, a very uh, great privilege that we can have it. Because it was created by people who really love guitars and who do not need to sell even. This is, so the difference is they are doing the favor to us to sell it. So this is not as such a although they are sold, it's sold, they sell. It is not a thing uh, thought to make a business out of it, like any other commercial guitar. You know, uh, ever since the, when I was young, you know, when I was 20 years old or something, to get a, there was no Chinese guitars around. When you, if you need to get a guitar, then you needed that time. I think it was one one thousand five hundred dollars or close to, yeah, let's say two thousand dollars. And then you got a Ramirez first class or a Stenson first class, etc. At that time, I'm saying the eighties or early eighties, and there was no Chinese guitars then. So ever since these cheap guitars entered the market. Uh, well, this is the beginning of the end of, of luthier handmade guitars because this will, this work will disappear gradually. But those who know what quality is, because it's not a thing about price. Price is no of no consideration here. What knowledge of what an instrument is and awareness it is, as we can only choose from four categories of guitar, really speaking, and. Of course, many in between them, but there is expensive, nice guitar, inexpensive, nice guitar, expensive, bad guitar, and inexpensive, bad guitar. And these are four qualities to distinguish between these four. It takes 30 years of it. It took me 30 years. So how to speak of anyone who doesn't, doesn't know this? To ask this to a layman is the same like asking a normal guy to, to perform his own dental work. <laughs> it will not happen. So actually what, what people are very pretentious about these things, they think they know, they don't know. If I tried for years to, to get knowledge of this thing and still I don't know everything, imagine someone who does, does not know guitar really. So they are mainly based on, on what's popular around. But even if many people drink Coca-Cola, right? But does that mean that this is a healthy drink? Because many people know brand talks. <laughs> the answer is obvious. <laughs> right? Sometimes the best things are not so popular. This is the thing. For me, it doesn't matter, actually. Right? And for the owners of AG, it doesn't matter either. But for me, as a musician, what I want is to develop a good tone. And if someone is learning to, to play, what learning to play guitar means? It means that you develop a good tone, a beautiful sound. So if your guitar doesn't, doesn't even tune, really, according to objective standards, it is where things get tough. Because I'm not talking about my opinion. I'm saying I can prove the guitar doesn't tune any instrument around.
of, of what everybody plays, but they got used to it. So habit is, is if, if, you, if you practice uh, to be blind on these facts, then you become good at being blind to these facts. Uh, to get, that's why to get knowledge, I, I am still writing, but I completed a big part of a, an article with my experience of guitars, about 70 years of experience. I, I just share all this knowledge there with links of videos uh, showing stuff that, that needs to be shown in video because most of the of the talk about this thing is just talk. It's from people that do not play and do not play even well, but to speak of playing great. To get mastering uh, a fretboard and, and the tuning capacity, everything, this, this takes a lifetime to do it. Believe me, this is not an easy thing. But uh, if we go by habit or by what others do, then we will drink Coca-Cola only because everybody knows it. And then, you know, I will believe this is okay. But I have no problem with it, of course. Now, the actual question of why not many people play it, it, it is, translation is, I want to play a guitar that everybody approves. Then this AG thing is not for you. <laughs> that I'm telling you for sure. It's for you only if you search for differentiation. In fact, it's for people who is tired of the same, of the same, of the same monotonous stuff. That's why I got a fresh life since I can play you now different instruments with a different fretboard. With it, I feel really now I am playing to to my best, right? Of course, this is a very personal thing, but there are also some objective parameters which have to be considered, like tuning, measurements, because flaws. In AG does not exist at all, from the less expensive model to the top models are all made perfectly and flawless. And if, if you want to, to really develop a nice tone, if your guitar doesn't even tune, what does speak of, of beauty coming out of it? <laughs> it's not going to happen. So all these factors are there. Therefore, I hope I am answering well your question, because it's a very good question, you know, up to the point that, 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 that Mr. Robert came and said, why not, why not everybody plays this guitar? I see only you playing, which is not true, many people play, but let's say in YouTube or some, some main figures there, because I, I posted 3,000 video lessons there in YouTube, and therefore I, I, my channel is somehow popular for people that is learning to play, etc. And, and therefore this guy opened his heart and, and told me this, this doubt he had in, in his mind. It's a very, very important question, right? Because it means if I buy the, the Givenchy or Dolce Gabbana shirt, I am okay because this everybody approves. If I buy just anything, I'm not a, because I will not get approval from others. It's very difficult that one is sincere enough to ask such a question. So I congratulate Mr. Roy for that, and I hope I am answering well. The question. After all, this music experience, and of course by hobby, because it used to be my job. I, I don't think teaching is my job or guitar is my job. I elevated it to to my hobby. Because hobby, everybody loves it, and job, not everybody loves the job. Lo job sounds lousy, really speaking. I don't play because of a job. Neither these people make guitars to to sell them, like hot cakes, you know. Yeah, this is, that's why there is quality. Well, because nowadays, you can see this every time with, around in, in guitar circles. Whenever the quality of a guitar is not there, the only thing left to talk about is price. But when the quality is there, then the price doesn't matter. So it is not about how much it costs or expensive or not expensive. This is not about that. It's about what do you want? Do you want quality and differentiation and something special or do you want just the same, the same that everybody has? I will feel, personally, no offense, but I will feel very bad to play a guitar that everybody plays. I did it for many years until Paco told me, this is a garbage thing, what are you doing? <laughs> many years ago, about that brand, the big name brand, and I said, what are you saying? Because I brought the guitar to put the, an autograph inside, you know. I was a, 
teenager or something, and then they say, what, why have you bought, this is the third guitar you buy from this brand. This is a garbage, and I said, what are you saying? Uh, I bought it because this, this is what you play in the show, etc. I said, yeah, that's why. You don't go to your marriage ceremony dress same like how you go to the job to the office every day. Hello. Is, that's why I got it. You, they say, what, 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 why you never t tell, tell me that? And they said, well, you never ask. <laughs> He's right. One should be inquisitive and ask questions. If you don't ask the questions, then how do you will get to expert people? Because one will trust an expert, and to become an expert, it takes a lifetime. This is the, the, the reality. So all this topic of guitars is very complex. You will need to play really great to know what, what is this and what is that. If you are not in that position, you cannot know it really. You can only trust what I say and what others say. But the important thing here is you. What do you want? You want the same that everybody has or you want a different thing? If you want the same that everybody wants, then this is not for you. <laughs> That's the reality. And if you want differentiation and, and, and something spectacular really, this instrument, it's not, it's not that it's different, it's that it's different, but it's spectacularly different. And that differentiation that makes your tone improve day by day. And if you're a beginner, even more, because the beginner will get used to certain measurements, to a tuning capacity of the instrument, etc. So therefore, it's not about price or about this, it's just about what do you want and knowing that. Generally, you know, I see this in, sometimes in students also, I have 90 students now, and I help them all, but some people do not have clear goals, or they, they have only really shifting goals, or no clear goal, or no goal at all, at all. And even if they think they have a goal for a while, they don't know how, they don't know how to, to make that happen. So this is, you see, so as a student, the goal is that you learn to play. And to learn to play, what does it mean? It means that you develop a good tone. <laughs> so then the fourth quality of the instrument, it is important for everyone, not just for advanced players. Okay? So you can never become a good player with a bad guitar. This is the reality. So thanks for your question. And if you have any other question, just let me know. Thank you, and I see you next time. Les digo porque descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, sí. Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucí. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música.